grand rising. So y'all, I got on one of my favorite blue dresses that I got from Zara when I was living in Atlanta. I need to fix it. Okay, so now, listen, y'all, I'm finally going to do it. I've been saying I was gonna do it for years, but I'm actually ready. I'm ready to go raw vegan. So for the next three days, I'm gonna be cooking up a bunch of stuff, showing y'all what I'm gonna eat. If y'all wanna see the just the foods and just the quick snippet of what I've been eating, I'm gonna have that video on my Instagram page. But y'all, I'm ready. I'm ready to do it. I'm ready to do it. And I gotta get my lashes done, y'all, because you know, I got to be put together all the way, but I'm ready to do it. I'm ready to go raw vegan. So I'm gonna take y'all grocery shopping with me. I'm gonna be showing y'all what I'm cooking. I'm gonna be showing you so much on how I have actually transitioned to a raw vegan while being an expat in Dubai, which is a country that is heavy on meat. Like, or even the raw I mean, the vegan restaurants, they heavy on fries, they heavy on all this kind of stuff, but I'm about to do it. I'm about to do it. So come along with me. So of course, my first meal of the day is my pineapple cucumber lemon and ginger drink so let me make this up but y'all already seen the recipe for this so y'all don't need to see this so i just finished my workout now i am headed to the market to get some items to make my first ever raw tomato soup so Let's go. Normally I go to Viva, but today I'm going to a store that's close to me that's local because I need a couple items. So let me go in here and get my groceries. We need some tomatoes. Some lemon. Garlic. An avocado. Trying to find dry basil and oregano. I don't see it. So I'm kind of upset. Um, they had all of the vegetables that I needed, all of the fruit that I needed, but they did not have the seasoning. So now I still have to go to another store to get the seasoning. And you know, with cooking, the seasoning is essential, especially if I'm making my first ever raw meal so let me head over to another store to see if they have basil oregano they didn't even have sea salt y'all so but it's so crazy because like the seasonings that we normally have in america that we use it's not normal here in dubai but the good thing is i just spent three dollars on a red pepper four tomatoes garlic lemon and avocado three dollars so well people be like Dubai is expensive where how I just spent three dollars on a for a full meal well the vegetables for the meal I'm at a new store hopefully they have what I need so let's see So they do have basil. They do have oregano. Okay, okay. We, it's for a decent price too. So we all, we, we got it y'all. I'm happy. So y'all, I got all of this for, guess how much? $10 USD. Like, I feel like this, these will cost more than $10. Just this alone. So yeah, that's what I got for $10. Okay, so I am about to make my first ever raw vegan meal and I'm using Loving It Vegan Recipe. So I'm about to chop up my tomatoes and my red peppers first and add it to the blender. So I'm gonna be back, boo. Okay, so my tomatoes are chopped up, so I'm gonna add it to the blender. Okay, so my red peppers are chopped, so I'm gonna add it to the blender. 
So I have my lemons. I'm about to squeeze a half a lemon and add it to the blender. I'm gonna start blending this while I get my avocado ready to go in there. So I blended it a bit, so now I'm gonna add the avocado. Sidebar, I love a pretty avocado. Look at this baby, look at this baby. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic, a couple garlic cloves. Then I'm gonna add some basil and oregano and some Himalayan pink salt and some black pepper, which I don't know why they opened the bag from this end, but some black pepper. Now I'm gonna do the final blend and season with black pepper and salt to taste. Let me taste it. I need to put this. Hold on. So I'm doing a blind taste, y'all. So let's see. It can use a little bit more salt, but mm. let me add some more salt. Okay, so let me try it now that I've added salt. Y'all, this is really good. Okay, let me put it in the bowl. Let me put it in the bowl. Now look at this. Oh my God, this is my first raw vegan meal. Like, well, it's not my first ever, but this is the first one that I ever made. Like, I'm so proud of myself, okay? Okay, we could do this. We, 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 we could do this. We, we, yeah, we could do this. So y'all, I've done it. I've made my first ever raw vegan meal at home. Now I've had raw vegan food at restaurants and you know, been to like little raw vegan or holistic festivals and I've tried raw vegan food, but this was my first time actually making a raw vegan meal. And y'all, I'm full. Like, I can't believe I'm full. Like, I'm really full and satisfied. And I had one bowl of tomato soup so i'm super excited because as i go on this journey because i told y'all before i have to get rid of this procrastination weight because i've just been like haven't been working out like i normally do i've been eating a bunch of fried food ordering food going od because in nigeria i didn't have um the options the vegan options like i do here in dubai and for six months but really since i've been here i've been going ham crazy bananas and now it's time for me to get back to my life i actually did um an hour and 15 minute walk my nose ring looking crazy okay there we go i did an hour and 15 minute walk before i went grocery shopping and cooked my food and everything so i'm getting back to the motion i'm gonna be sharing my experience with y'all but something that i wanted to talk about um i want to talk about my first impression of moving to dubai and things that i've learned since i got here right so when i first got off the plane um coming from nigeria i was amazed because the streets were clean i didn't see any trash there wasn't any potholes or any raggedy roads because in nigeria honey them roads is raggedy in some areas uh, especially on that lagos to Ibadan freeway child child and even in michigan and even in atlanta to be honest the roads are really bad so i was really impressed by the roads the roads were really clean. My first impression um, or just my thoughts. And when I first got here, I thought that everybody was rich. I thought that people were just living their high-end best lives. And I would just see a bunch of Ferraris. And everybody had a Ferrari. And everybody had a G-Wagon. And everybody had a Bentley. And I didn't think that there was any poverty-stricken areas, right? Now that I've been here for some time, what I've learned is... Even though there is a high-end community, because when I first got here, I was staying in some of the high-end areas. Y'all seen it. Y'all seen on my YouTube. Y'all seen on my TikTok, on my Instagram, the areas that I showed you. And as I've gotten here and as I've learned, there are a lot of low-income areas. Actually, I went to the apartment um, this week to just see like what the cost difference was. 
of paying like a thousand dollars which is like 272 dollars a month for a partition or a share flat because i didn't even know what a share flat partition i didn't know none of that i never heard of that in my life till i got here to dubai and so i just wanted to see because here i pay 2500 a month right with 2500 aed so that's like six seven hundred dollars right and so i went to go see a cheaper place and it's like just trying to you know compare and y'all it was disgusting it was nasty it was straight cats coming into the building it was i would never i'm gonna actually go and do a view and act like i'm going to look for somebody and i'm gonna show y'all y'all gonna be like what the fuck you know um it's even people paying five hundred dollars for bed spaces 500 durham which is 136 dollars y'all roaches dirty smelly it's it ain't it it ain't it for me for me being an american used to living in a high rise in a high-end life baby it's not for me but i wasn't aware of this until i got here so there are you know a lot of low income areas but low income for here is not like the standards of low income on what we think of in america another thing is i thought that people you know their salaries were really high and i thought that people made a lot of money at their jobs y'all some of the salaries at these jobs is really really low some people making less than fifteen hundred dollars a month for a salary some people making less than a thousand a month for a salary you know and so you know i've learned that the the salaries are really really low for a lot of people and a lot of the jobs they offer housing um to kind of counteract that that low salary but it's like, no, just give me my money. Just run me my money and let me live where I want to live. Don't give me a house that I can live in that I got to share with five other people. And we don't know how those people used to live in and you paying me a little bit of money. So I was suspecting that the people would make a lot of money here. A lot of people don't. And that's the truth. Um, another thing that was my first impression here, I was really amazed at how, you know, the government makes sure that the street signs are clean, make sure that the pedestrian walk signs, the signals are clean on a regular basis. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I didn't know that the, the country, you know, had a lot of cameras around, like it's police cameras everywhere. I wasn't aware of that. Um, another thing is I didn't know that liquor was legal. But when I first got here, I found out that you had to have a special ID to get liquor. I think it changed now, but you had to have a special license to get liquor and they scan it. So I thought that was pretty weird. Um, another thing is there's a lot of LGBT people here, especially Filipinos. There's a lot of T's, a lot of lady boys here. And I wasn't, I wasn't aware of that. I thought that that was illegal in this part of the world. But I've seen some couples, some ladies that look like boys with other ladies holding hands. And I've seen some lady boys walking around. So, yeah, I was not aware of that as well. Uh, another thing that I've learned since being here is that the country is really, really safe. Like, I didn't know that it was as safe as it was. Though there is crime everywhere, you know, you have to be mindful. But, like, at the mall, I've left my purse, my you know, my phone's on the table at a crowded um, food court and it wasn't taken. So like in a lot of the nice areas like L, GLT, um, JB, uh, no, JLT, JBR, the Mac Hills, um, Dubai Marina, Dubai South, you know, a lot of those areas. Um, you can literally leave your purse and when you come back, it's going to be there. Like, you can literally leave your phone on the train and come back and it'll be there. Like, you know, in America, that ain't going to happen. And damn show is not going to happen in Nigeria. So, the country is really, really safe. Um, you know, I think, I didn't know that, you know, it's really a place where a black American can come and really set up shop and really create the life that they want. But it is available, you know. So, I'm going to be showing y'all more areas and just more things about Dubai. But I just wanted to share just a little bit of my first impression of coming to Dubai and what I've learned since coming to Dubai. Um, it really is easy for you to get housing here. Um, it's really easy for you to get, you know, purchase property. If you've been here and you have a bank account, you can get a mortgage um, with the 80% 
mortgage loan. So that means you would pay 20% or if you have, you know, you buy property, you can refinance it in six months. So those things are really, really cool. Um, there's a lot of different visa laws that change. Um, this fluctuates and change and, 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 you know, the price has changed. So that's stuff that I didn't know about because, you know, coming from America, we don't know nothing about no visa. Um, also, you know, it's really fairly easy for you to get situated here um, and for you to kind of bring your family and just work. I didn't know that Dubai is primarily for the younger people because they come into work. You know, there's not, this isn't a retirement place. Um, and I wasn't aware of that, but this isn't a place where you can come. I would suggest you come to retire, um, because even if you buy a property here, you get a golden visa, which I wasn't aware of a golden visa, but it's only for 10 years. So, you know, um, I think this is a place where you can come and if you have a little bit of money, you can, well, if you have not a little bit, but some money, you can, you know, grow your wealth more. It's a very good place for investment properties. I didn't know that people from all over the world are coming here to buy properties. Um, most of these apartments, like when people come in and move in, like the apartments, the apartment buildings, the actual apartments are individually owned, you know, like in the States, you know, you go to the leasing office and there's a person that, you know, the developer owns the entire property, you lease it to a lease office. No, here, most of the properties are owned individually and you're dealing directly with the landlord. Also, I wasn't aware that you can actually rent a property and most of the properties that you rent, it comes with all the everything, like it comes fully furnished. So I wasn't aware that, you know, you can actually come here and get a fully furnished apartment. So you could just come here with bags and just, you know, with your clothes and just start living life, you know? So, um, also I didn't know that the license plate, like the license plates are this, it's not one price, you know, you have to get license plates and some license plates with like three digits or two digits or one digit or four digits are more expensive, you know, and you can go to different places like Sharjah or Abu Dhabi and get cheaper license plates but the license plate thing i'm still trying to learn that so when i find that out i'll let y'all know but you know even though you know dubai isn't a long-term place for me i think that if you really want to come and stay for like i would say max six months this isn't like a five year i mean it's people that's been here for a long time but they come from other countries other african countries or middle eastern countries so for them it's kind of like you know it's better than their their home but i would say as an american come and stay for six months and then go someplace else this isn't like a place that you probably want to stay for years and years and years in the summertime it's really 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 hot but it's only like three months. Other than that, the weather is beautiful. The people are very nice. I didn't know that the people would be very nice. I haven't really met someone that was like really, really rude or racist here. Um, everybody that I've met have been pretty pleasant, you know? So that's just my little thoughts on, you know, my first impressions of Dubai and things that I've learned. So make sure y'all stay tuned for more because I'm giving you more tips, more about my expat life and more raw vegan food because baby, we about to do this okay so anyway y'all i'm about to get up out of here i gotta go live on instagram go live on tiktok do some other stuff make sure y'all follow me on all my social media on instagram tiktok twitter snapchat all that i'm everywhere make sure y'all hit the bell notifications when you subscribe so every time i drop a video you get that baby and if you haven't subscribed what the fuck is you doing subscribe i'm out peace